Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I just wanted to talk about a problem that you may have encountered if you use an iPhone 4 or similar series iOS device, and that's with the uh, with the 3G failing to function. Now, <clears throat> I know that I was in coverage area because I had the 3G light with the 3G button on the bar, and then the person I was with, their cell phone, uh, they had service and 3G worked. So I knew that I wasn't in a dead spot. <clears throat> now what I did to attempt to resolve the issue, I put it into airplane mode. Uh, that did not resolve the issue. I went into, um, let's see, where did I go? I went into general network and I turned enable 3G off. I turned enable cellular data off and then back on. That did not resolve the issue. So <clears throat> unfortunately, if you've seen my other video, my power button that, that powers the device my Apple iPhone 4 on and off is broken. So I ran into a dilemma, you know, I need to restart this device because I was optimistic that restarting the device would hopefully bring my 3G back to life. But I couldn't do it because there's no way that I knew of to restart this phone without this power button. So I started uh, running very CPU intensive apps, uh, trying to kill the battery with hopes that my, my that my battery would die and then my phone would be able to uh, uh, be able to be restarted hopefully when I plugged a power cable in it would kick back on. But I did find a workaround. Not only did this fix my 3G issue but it enabled me to restart my Apple iPhone 4 without using a power button. Now to do that what I did I went to general and then I went to reset and then I went to reset network settings. Now it's important that you only do this one because what this will do to my knowledge it will reset your 3G and any wireless access points that you might have stored. So if you save passwords you want to make sure you've got those written down somewhere because when you do this it's going to wipe all that out and you'll have to re-enter it. Now the good thing is when you do this reset network settings it reboots the phone. So I didn't have to push the power button because my power button's broken. There so wasn't an option. So this served a dual purpose. It restarted my phone, which I haven't rebooted this and probably <clears throat> actually since the day or so after I posted my other video with my iPhone 4 power button broken, I haven't restarted my phone since then. So it was probably in need of a restart anyway. So I did that. It resolved the 3G not working issue. And also, my phone's a lot faster now. I think it just had a lot of, you know, like any other computer device, when it uh, when it runs for a while, it typically gets gets a lot of stuff kind of hanging and all that. But I thought I would share that with everyone, just a good tip uh, that I found by trial and error. And feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube. I've got a, uh, you can subscribe to this channel. It's youtube.com forward slash Thanks for tuning in and welcome any comments or questions you may have. Have a good one.